Natasha and Lad, of course, big game season is in full swing, and the Bogus family eager to get out and hunt for deer, something they do every season. But two days ago, their plans to hunt in Heber were stifled, all thanks to a thief. So I'm better at dribbling, he's better at rebounding. Trace and Braden Bogus are twins. They do almost everything together. But this weekend, they're stuck searching for ways to keep themselves entertained. That's because they weren't supposed to be home. We go hunting every year. An annual hunting and camping trip with dad near Strawberry Reservoir was on the calendar. Anxious, they left Friday morning. I was really excited. I, I haven't got, I haven't shot a deer yet, so I really wanted to. But that excitement was only met with disappointment. That's because the 24-foot-long family camper they were headed to near Co-op Creek wasn't there when they arrived. My dad called the cops and they came and we found out that it was stolen. With nowhere to sleep and all their camping supplies gone, they were forced to come back home to Bountiful. It's so hot. Yeah. I hate hockey. It just felt sick to my stomach. Sick and frustrated, Mother Tori Bogus says that camper was the center of family gatherings. She can't believe it's gone. I'm angry that somebody would want to take our little second home. I have so many memories in that trailer, and it was just sad. For now, their traditional weekend hunting trips to Heber are put on hold. In the meantime, Trace and Braden are staying busy, but they'd much rather be camping. I hope that we can get it back and still be able to use it a lot and have make more memories in it. Now that trailer is white and has a blue stripe and the word zinger on the side with Utah license plate 1776710Z. You can call the Wasatch County Sheriff's Office to make a report if you see it. Ashley, the family is offering a $1,500 reward to anyone who can provide information leading to, re to the return of their trailer. All right.